So we're here at 30,000 feet in the TBM. I mean, pretty high up to be in a relatively small airplane, but um, I mean, this is magnificent. Today we're taking the TBM up into the flight levels, a place where I frankly feel like a poser. We're gonna to get to experience some performance that pistons will never be able to do and just really enjoy the flight along the way. Now for time's sake, I am gonna be skipping over the startup sequence and pre-takeoff checklist, but I gotta tell you, if you've never started a turboprop engine before, you gotta watch the video that we put together. Uh, the link will be down in the description talking about how to start a TBM from a cold and dark cockpit, and it's really, really fun. Highly encourage you to go watch it. But for right now, let's skip to the takeoff. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining in flight in the TBM 930. I feel like a total poser doing the radios for this. Uh, not really accustomed to the flight level, so it's going to be fun. We'll uh, see how many times I accidentally announce this as a sky lane, but I'll do my best. Gillespie County traffic, TBM 930, Victor Mike, departing runway 32, straight out departure, Gillespie County. I'm one for one. I didn't call us a sky lane. <laughs> well, you'll have plenty more chances when you start talking to Houston. But we got a good, pretty good crosswind here. You're ready to go. Okay, your airplane all the way. My airplane. I'll tell you when it's yours. Now we're going to bring the torque up. Past 50%. I'll go to the brakes. Bring it right up to about, about 90 or so. Right in there. And then forget about it. That really pushes you back. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Your speed's alive. There's 85. Rotate. How's it right? Gear up. Through 115. Adapt on. Flaps up. But we're already uh, through 140 knots, and uh, we're going ahead and climb here a little better. So flaps are up. The gear is up. The yaw damp is on. And we're going to be begin to turn on course here in just a moment. Yeah, climb performance up. I mean, we're getting 1,800, now 2,000. Yeah, and 140 knots indicated. So if we wanted to, let's say we were going to come back to about 12 and a half degrees pitch up and about 135 knots, there's 2,600 feet a minute. That's wild. Anyway, so we have 97% here, and uh, we're going uh, direct to Ozona at this time. And I'll put on the autopilot. And... Uh, you can give him a call. Houston Center, TBM 930, Victor Mike. Good morning, 930, Victor Mike, Houston Center. Good morning, are you uh, airborne? Yes, ma'am, we're airborne. Climbing through uh, 10, 10,000 right now, looking to pick up our IFR round robin to Ozona, and then we'll be back to Tango 82. Good morning, 930, Victor Mike, squat code 4574. 4574, is your Victor Mike. November 930, Victor Mike, your radar contact, one, two miles west of Gillespie County, say so leaving one, 1,200. You are cleared to the uh, Gillespie County Airport via direct Ozona, direct, climb maintain flight level 300. Climb maintain flight level 300 and cleared Gillespie County, uh, Tango 82 via uh, Ozona, then direct, zero, Victor Mike, thanks. Okay, good. Here's 19,000. The temperature now is down to a minus 13, and we're, we're, we have a headwind of uh, 54 knots. But we're still climbing 1,800 feet a minute. Our true airspeed is over, is uh, 205 right now. So there's there's a lot lot to consider. Yeah, climbing with a true airspeed of 200 plus knots is really new to me. Right, and that, uh, if we get leveled off at 300, we'll comfortably see 310 true air, true air speed. See how the bank light came on? When you get up high like this, November you go to half bank on the on the autopilot. I had the auto. Is that triggered by altitude? Yep, or? yep. Because you just don't have a the uh, stall margin. You, gotta, you yeah. can't. You don't do big big turns up there. Makes sense. We're pushing the two nine, we will get a, a beep here. We have uh, one thousand to go. I see flat level three zero zero. There's the turbulence. Okay, now we're going to level yep. off at 30,000. Wow. Level 300. Wow. 300 in the bumps.
Thank you can see now our true air speed will start start picking up. Wow. Welcome to 30,000 feet. Certainly never done this in a cockpit. It's a nice view from up here, too. So we're speeding up out of the climb. True air speed's at 265 knots. There's about 230 in the climb. So we're here at 30,000 feet in the TBM. I mean, pretty high up to be in a relatively small airplane, but... Um, I mean, this is magnificent. Used to 6,000 feet in the sky lane. I think kind of taking off and climbing and coming up here, some immediate takeaways finding an airplane like this is the power and the speed. Um, I mean, the speed at which you're climbing out, the speed at which you get to 30,000 feet. Uh, everything just happens faster. There's just a lot going on. Um, you've got a lot of avionics at your disposal which are all uh, learnable, for sure. But um, as someone coming from a single-engine piston, is a little overwhelming, but also phenomenally exciting. And I think the other thing is just how smooth the engine is. I think the, uh, obviously we're going through a little bit of chop and turbulence right now, but I mean the engine is just as smooth as can be. Really, really sweet machine. Okay, you want to turn and descend? Yeah, tell her that we, we're going to go ahead and make, uh, we'd like to descend. We'd like to return to, we've done what we need to do, we need to return to Tango 82, like like a descent to uh, to uh, 15,000. Center, TBM, Zero Victor Mike. TBM, Zero Victor Mike, go ahead. Yeah, Zero Victor Mike, we've uh, accomplished what we need to do. We'd like a, a turn back to Gillespie County and a descent down to about 15,000 if you can. Uh, TBM, Zero Victor Mike, descend and maintain one five thousand. Uh, Clear direct Gillespie County via left turn, left turn direct. Okay, down to 15,000, left turn, then direct to Gillespie. Zero Victor Mike. Shows will be in Fredericksburg in seven minutes. Yeah, this is a whole other world compared to the one I'm used to living in. Doing 4,000 foot a minute. Uh, vertically and I'm doing 363 knots over the ground just passing through 18,000 welcome back to Class Echo one of the incredible aspects of flying a single engine turboprop like the TBM is that that if you need to get down quickly that propeller out there in flight idle turns into one heck of a speed brake and so you can actually do descent rates you know, pushing 10,000 feet a minute and keep your uh, uh, max operating speed below 266. Wow. You'd only do that in uh, calm air, obviously, but that prop just acts as a big, big break. And the approach, the altimeter has been set. 3016, minimums are set at 1935. The comm, nav, and GPS are all set. Pressurization, check that. Kevin altitude's 4,600 feet. We're coming out of 14.5 for 6,000. Um, uh, fuel gauges, um, they're equal, about half tanks, uh, voltmeter and ammeter, all good there. The eye is not necessary, initial separator, we will turn that on when we get to 10,000 feet, landing lights are on. So we've got uh, the engine pulled back to 30%, we're going to descend at 2,000 feet a minute. Okay, cross Cyrix uh, at 4,500, we're cleared for the RNF-32 approach to Gillespie County, Zero Victor Mike. And Zero Victor Mike, multiple aircraft to the vicinity of Cyrix, all of them appear to be below 3,000 feet. Uh, report your IFR cancellation this frequency or through flight service, change of advisory frequency is approved. We'll go and cancel. Zero Victor Mike, we'll go and cancel with you this time, ma'am. Zero Victor Mike, IFR cancellation is received. Squawk VFR and change to advisory. Have a good day. Okay, Squawk VFR, have a good one. Thanks, there, Victor Mike. Okay, now down to 3,300. We'll be down to 3,300 here in just a minute. We're going to go pick up. We're going to pick up the glide path. This is an LPV approach, so we can use that glide path. Okay, we check everything here. Uh, the Giphy, that's our checklist here. That's the gear, landing gear. It's not down yet. It will be. Once we get on this glide path, initial separator, and is on. Uh, the flaps right now are in takeoff or approach flaps, fuel, and then yaw damp. So we will v revisit that several times in the next minute or so. 
Chesapeake County traffic the gear down. Hotel, Keep your hand on the on the gear till you get three green and no red, no black. Until we're midfield. Okay, the there's the mains are down. The nose gear is down three in the green. So gear is down. Initial separator is on. Flaps are in takeoff flaps. We are starting down. Now we will go put the missed approach altitude in here, which is actually 4,500 as a target. In the event we in the event we go missed. I love that you can have the approach plates up on half of one screen. Yeah. Gillespie County traffic, TBM 930, Victor Mike is five mile final runway 32 around the Arnav, uh, crossing over Rayos, Gillespie County. So this is a pretty good little crosswind from the, from the north, from the right. There's 122, and we're going to full flaps. Okay, I'm kicking off the autopilot, my airplane. Leave the odd damp on for a minute. Uh, TBM 930, Victor Mike, two mile final, runway 32, full stop, Gillespie County. 500. In the TBM, when you have a crosswind, you fly by the book and you do use full flaps. Or you might not in other airplanes, you do use it in this airplane. There's uh, 88 knots. So we were doing 300 knots 15 minutes ago, now we're doing less than 90 for the landing. Minimums, minimums. We got uh, the white next to red. We are landing. These wind gusts. Air speed. Nicely done. Making the first turn off. A little bit of a Navy aircraft landing there. Aircraft carrier landing. I was never in the Navy, but that's what I, I guess that's what they say when you plan it on pretty good. Nicely done. So that's a demonstration that uh, is a 5,000 to one foot runway, and I think we l maybe used, a th you know, 1,200 of it. You can be going, you know, 300 plus knots, but also come in and land at 85 knots. Yep. Yeah, that was an unreal flight, even just going up to 30,000 feet, which still doesn't feel real, and then and then coming back. I mean, it's a, it's a wild airplane. I really appreciate the ride. Oh, you're welcome. Well, before we shut down here, uh, two things. One, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel, and we're going to go find more adventures to go on, cool airplanes to fly. Love if you could come along with us, and you can do that by subscribing and signing up for alerts. And then uh, if you didn't already see it, uh, there's a, a link here in the top right to go watch the uh, more extended video of the startup sequence for this TBM. Starting a turboprop is just awesome. It's just really, really sweet. And... Uh, we walked through the procedures here of how to start it from a cold, dark cockpit, uh, which I love watching those types of videos just to know, uh, you know, steps A through Z, and we filmed that. So go watch that. Hope you'll subscribe, and uh, we're going to shut down here in a minute. But until then, we hope we'll see you guys in the next video. See you, everyone.